Hey guys, so I'm gonna go ahead right now and film what I'm putting in my kids' stockings for Christmas this year. So this is going to be my stocking stuffer video for 2016. I have four kids, ages 16, nine and a half, eight, and three. I absolutely love, love, love watching these videos because me personally, I get a ton of really neat ideas of what I can put in my kids' stockings. So I like filming these videos as well because not only do I find it fun, I think it's also useful, especially if you have a kid that's similar to one of my kids' ages. You can get some really useful, neat ideas as well as what to put in your kids' stocking for this year. I tried to keep the cost down for stockings because I didn't want to go overboard, but I was also conscious of not putting anything that I found was too junky that would end up in the trash the next day. So I tried to look for quality gifts that I could stuff inside the kids' stockings. Also, I tried to keep the things even because I have multiple children, so I don't want one to have more than the other. I think they're getting enough and I don't want to bombard them with too much for Christmas. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, so let's get started. I'm gonna start off by showing you what I'm putting in my daughter's stocking for this Christmas. She's nine and a half years old, and I'm not going in any order. So these are all the items that I'm putting in her stocking this year. To start off, I got her this LED Style Lab watch. She has been begging to get one of these watches for a while now, so I decided to pick it up. I got it on Black Friday for 30% off, and I'm going to throw it in her stocking. She's going to freak. I also picked up this really cute wallet for her. I just thought it would be something that she would like. It's really, really pretty. It has a lot of compartments on the inside and I love, love, love the detailing on it. And this wallet was 70% off. I got all three kids one of these. It came as a package of three and every time we'd go to the department store and they saw that, they thought it was really neat. So I picked one up and I put it in all three of my older kids' stockings. So this is basically an eraser and then a pencil sharpener in one, which I thought was really neat. The kids are now on summer break from school and they will be going back in February. I thought this would be something really useful for when they go back to school. My daughter also really likes Shopkins and she doesn't have any Shopkins. So I thought I would start her off with a small collection. This is a package of two Shopkins, I think, and I think she'll really like that. I also have this book to put in her stocking. It probably won't fit in the stocking, obviously, because of the size, but I'll just place it right next to the stocking. My kids love books, and I love giving books for every holiday, and I thought this book was really neat. It has a bunch of different stories within the book and the illustration is super simple. So I thought the kids would enjoy that. So I'm gonna throw that um, among my daughter's stocking stuffers. I also got her a toothbrush. I always put a toothbrush in the kids' stockings every year. That's something really useful. And then I got her this daily planner for 2017. She's really into planners and agendas and I thought I would start her off with one that she could use for school so this one it has the really pretty design on the front and then she can use the inside to mark down school assignments projects and homework she's been super duper obsessed with emojis she saw this pen one day and so I went back and picked it up for her to put in her stocking and then I got these three emoji keychains for her. I figured it would be neat for her to have those hanging off her backpack for when she goes back to school next year. So I know she'll love that. I picked up a package of stickers that she could use to decorate in her little planner. And then last but not least, I got her this miniature Barbie. She actually picked this one out because it was the one that she liked the most and she thought she was picking it out for a friend. So that is what I'm putting in my nine and a half year old daughter stocking for this Christmas. 
Okay, so this is what I'm putting in my 16-year-old stockings. Just to start off, I did try to keep all the items even, so this is not everything that's going in his stocking. He's also getting a couple of DVDs, so I got him Batman vs. Superman. I got him X-Men Apocalypse. I also got him Suicide Squad and Captain America Civil War, so those will also be in his stocking as well. Just to start off with the basics and the necessities, I like to throw boxers in his stocking every year. Picked up um, a pack of socks for him, another useful item that I like to put in his stocking, and then a toothbrush. All the kids get a toothbrush. He's 16 and he's not really into all those little stocking stuffer toys anymore, so going the useful route for gifts just makes more sense for him. As far as the other fun items, I got him some fine line markers. He's really artistic. He's super into drawing and he's always borrowing my markers with the fine tip. So I thought I would get him these. They come 12 vibrant colors and it's the coloring for grown-ups. And then I saw this and I thought it would be something really neat and also something very useful. This is a really neat idea for a teenager. So he has a lot of cords and I thought this would be something he could use to kind of keep his cords organized and out of the way. It's a desk cable clip and it's by the brand Bobino and you just clip it onto your desk or a bookshelf or maybe even a dresser and it keeps your cords all organized and in one place. So I thought that would be something super useful for him. I also threw in another one of these two-in-one pencil sharpeners and erasers. I thought he could also use that. I got him like a fun little keychain for his keys. It's just a mustache. It was 70% off when I picked it up. And then I also got him another one of these Bobino brand. It's the cord wrap for your earbuds. So those are all the items plus the four DVDs that I'll be putting in my 16 year old stocking for this Christmas. This is what I'm putting in my eight year old son's stocking this Christmas. So to start off again with the book, again, I like to give books for holidays. I definitely want to build up our book collection. We have a ton of books, but we've read most of them, pretty much all of them already. So for every holiday, I like to add to our book collection. My kids love books, especially bedtime stories. So I saw this and I picked this up last year and it was like 70% off and I got it for a dollar um, and it's just the G-Force, the movie storybook. Down here, he has his toothbrush. He's super into Lego, so I got this Lego imitation, the Avengers. I got him Iron Man because I'm not sure he has that one. So I saw this at the toy store and I decided to pick it up because I thought it was really neat. It is a magic box and it comes with 15 tricks inside the box, which I thought would be something super fun for us to do as a family. And I thought it would be something he would appreciate. So I picked that up and decided to throw it in his stocking this year. So got that. I also picked up a package of these pizza stickers. It's a scratch and sniff sticker, so you can scratch them, and I guess they smell like pizza. I don't know. I just picked that up, something simple to put in his stocking. Up here, I actually got this Max Steel blind bag for free, so I just decided to, hey, I'm going to throw it in his stocking. I got this bag of the Lego Mixels on a super good deal. It was 70% off, so I really wanted to grab it, and he actually picked this one out because he thought he was buying it or he thought he was picking it out for a friend. I got him three packages of the Pokemon cards. He's been really into Pokemon lately. He got a bunch of old cards from a classmate, and I thought it would be neat to kind of add to that collection. So got him those, and again, here is the other two-in-one eraser and pencil sharpener, which I know will come in handy when he goes back to school. And then another marvel blind bag which i thought was super neat and i also got this it was pretty inexpensive for two bucks it was the simpsons minifigures and again he's super into lego so i decided to get that for his stocking as well so that is what i'm putting in my eight-year-old stocking this christmas okay so on to my three-year-old but stocking stuffers 
are so much fun to shop for and I had so much fun shopping for all the stocking stuffers for all my kids especially for my three-year-old because he's at that age now where he's starting to really appreciate things he has like a preference now he has what he likes and his favorites and he's starting to understand Christmas so here we go with all the items that I'm putting into his stocking this year for Christmas so I picked him up this sippy water bottle when you have a toddler you always need a ton of these on hand so i just got this miles of tomorrowland water bottle for him oh he loves paw patrol so i picked up a little miniature paw patrol figure and then to go along with that i also got him a paw patrol book i was just randomly walking in and i saw this and i knew i had to get it so picked that up it was pretty inexpensive and it's a board book so he can't destroy it Here's his toothbrush. I saw this Captain America plush toy and I just had to get it. I'm not a big fan of buying plush toys for my kids because then the kids don't play with them. It's just for decoration. But he actually likes plush toys. He plays with them. And a lot of the ones he has are hand-me-downs from his older siblings. So I thought it would be cute to add to his collection of plushies and I know he's gonna love this because he loves loves superheroes and again with the superhero theme I got him this Hulk mask now this was really really cheap it was like a dollar so I'm not expecting it to really last but it's very very durable really sturdy plastic so I'm really impressed it's because these masks in the toy stores are like six seven eight dollars and he likes Hulk so he's gonna love that and then I saw this Mickey puzzle, and I think it's time for him to start working on his puzzle skills. And then I got him a mini blind bag Thomas and Friends figure. I thought this would just be something neat to throw in his stocking. He loves, loves, loves music. So I saw this tambourine, and I thought it would be the perfect thing to also add to his stocking as well. And then I got him a book. Um, this is just a ABC activity book, so it's going to teach him how to write his letters. I think he's at the perfect age now where he can try to write his letters or try to learn how to write his letters. So I thought that would be neat. And then, it, of course, it comes with stickers, which every kid loves. I know he loves stickers. My kids love stickers. So, And then, last but not least, which is probably one of the favorite things I've gotten for his stocking, this year is this wooden food like puzzle cutting set I've been wanting to get him some wooden cutting food for a very 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 long time and it was only two dollars so I decided to snatch it up and of course you know it has the velcro so he cuts it and it's great for pretend play he absolutely loves pretending to cook and this is also going to go along with what he's getting for Christmas so guys that is what I'm putting in my three-year-old stocking this Christmas oh and I almost forgot he's also getting a DVD he got the big hero 6 DVD so I'm going to throw that in his stocking as well also what is a stocking without a little bit of candy so I picked up this five ounce bag of the mini crisp Kringle the double crisp and these are like Santa heads and they're just chocolate with a crisp and crunchy um, inside. So I thought that would be neat to throw a couple in the kids' um, stockings this year. Okay guys, so that's pretty much what I'm putting in my kids' stockings this year for Christmas. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I hope you got some ideas. Like I said, I have four kids and they are a variety of age ranges. So if you have a child that's similar to an age range, then I hope you can see what I'm putting in their stockings this year and it can give you some ideas. For me, I absolutely love shopping for stocking stuffers. They're one of the easiest gifts to shop for. So stocking stuffers for me were super fun. I think I did a really, really awesome job this year filling the kids' stockings. I love everything that I got and I know they will love everything that they get as well. Nothing in there really that I would say would be like a trinkety toy that would probably get played with for one day and then end up in the trash. I think they're all really nice and a lot of the things are things that I know my kids love playing with and will enjoy. So that is my philosophy on stocking stuffers. Make sure that I don't spend too much but make sure that they're quality gifts as well. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
Thank you so much for watching if you watch, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys.